Yo, what is going on, you guys? So, today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. Now, in today's video, I will be breaking down grading and how I personally and you guys can as well make thousands a week. Um, basically, grading cards, it is not that hard if you ask me. Once you've got the hang of it, you can make a lot of money. So, I will be giving you guys a lot of tips, um, think cards to buy when grading, um, things to look for, all that type of stuff. But before we get into that, I do want to say, as you guys know, I do have my Sports Card Invest membership program. Um, we've basically been making a lot of money in the last three months, just, you know, I guess being on top of trends, I've been able to spot a lot of cards before they go up um, through Facebook groups, finding trends through Facebook groups. Um, I basically was able to spot Kobe right before he spiked because I saw a lot of movement going on in Facebook and sooner or later his prices just took off. Um, I've done that with quite a few players. Obviously Zion right before his comeback um, at the NBA, I saw a lot of movement um, going on there. There's just been quite a lot of stuff. I feel like I've got pretty good at being able to like tell when cards are about to go up um, via Facebook. So if you guys are interested in my membership program, go ahead head to my Instagram, Sports Card Invest, or go ahead and um, head to my website, sportscardsinvest.com, and use code YouTube for 10% off at checkout. And um, yeah, that's basically a great way to make a lot of money with me if you guys are interested in that. But um, without further ado, we're going to hop right into this video. So how to make thousands a week grading cards cards um first things first is finding cards to i guess obviously first of all before we even get into that i do want to say i would probably if you guys are very unfamiliar with grading probably just look at you know the condition of cards um so for example kevin durant's tops number two we're gonna get into this in a little bit um but just you know, I guess I would probably go for like looking at PSA 10s and just trying to spot differences between PSA 10s and 9s. You will get the hang of this. I like, you know, if you can find a listing with the PSA 10 and a PSA 9 side by side and just really take a look and, you know, glance at, I would probably watch some YouTube videos that are specifically, you know, getting to know the condition of cards. Um, but that's not what I'm going to be going over in this video. Um, so what I'm going to be going over is, I guess, say for cards that are ungraded, knowing which cards to buy. Um, so my rule of thumb, I go ahead and search up a bunch of different cards. And I try to find cards where the raw card is going for the same amount or less than the same amount as the um, PSA 8 card goes for. So firstly, um, you want to go ahead and see, okay, so this is $30. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and look up the PSA 8. Um, so there's one available for $30. we are going to go to PSA 8, sold items, um, end date, recent first. And we're going to go ahead and see, okay, so PSA 8 just sold for $87 and the raw card is $30 so this is personally why Kevin Durant is one of my sorry about that why Kevin Durant is one of my best cards to grade um so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys his um raw cards so if you guys don't know once you have this information once you find a card that's you know raw cards are less than a PSA 8 raw card goes for less than the amount that a PSA 8 goes for um, you're going to want to head to psacard.com and go ahead and search up the card and you will be able to see um, how many of you know the total cards sent in graded a PSA 9 how many graded what per, you know how many graded a PSA 10 how many graded a PSA 8 and so forth um, so personally for Kevin Durant his cards a very very significant ch chunk of his cards are grading a PSA 9 or a PSA 10 so that is a very good sign because if you're getting you know if you're even making money when you're getting a PSA 8 which is considered a failure um, if you're still making money on there it's very hard to lose and this Kevin Durant card for the last three months I have honestly, you don't even have to go out and try to find a bunch of different cards. If one card is working for you really well, you know how to tell condition on that one card. I would just buy a ton of them, which I've learned this Kevin Durant really well. Um, I will go ahead and point out the flaws in basically every card. Um, you just want to look for consistencies with the PSA 10. So, um, 
yeah, it's quite easy. Obviously, I do ask occasionally. If I'm buying from eBay, I will ask, you know, the sellers to provide me some extra pictures of, you know, the surface and all that. But um, in general, it's very hard for these Kevin Durant cards to grade under a PSA 8. Um, unless you really mess up, it's very hard to lose um, with these Kevin Durant cards. I've been just banking on these Kevin Durant cards, buying them for 40 bucks. Um, going ahead, sending them to grading. Um, about more than half of them have come back. Um, you know, PSA 9 or PSA 10. Basically all, um, actually. I would say around 50% are PSA 9s. Another 30% are PSA 10s. And then 20% are PSA 8s. I haven't had one PSA 7 or lower. Um, so I just definitely think there's so much money to be made on these cards for $45. Think about this. You you know, fail in that two tenths of the time you're going to buy a PSA 8, you're still making $30 profit. And that PSA 10, you know, that's almost a 20 times profit. You're making around, uh, I'd say, 700 to 800 um, if you get a PSA 10. If you get a PSA 9, you're still making a good, you know, eight times, right? You're still making a good you know, or maybe not eight times, but you're getting around like 200 bucks, 220. Um, as you guys can see, this is not a card I would buy for grading. If you guys just see um, the edges and corners are very bad. So you're going to want to get to learn that. But in terms of cards to go for, Kevin Durant is the guy right now. Um, he's been the guy for a while. His raw cards, you know, are not going for that much. And his graded cards have skyrocketed. So it's a great time to get in for KD um, right now. And just honestly, I would look up a bunch of players that have a similar situation to where the population's quite high, but, you know, the graded cards go for a lot. Another great one that I like is Shaq362. Um, so his three, his card number 362 is PSA 9 goes for around 100 bucks, and you can get these raw for as low as $20. Bucks. Um, so if you guys can figure out how to grade these shacks, how to, you know, what to look for, um, you, you can get these for 20 bucks. PSA 8, you're still making 50 bucks. Um, PSA 9, you're making a good $80 profit. And PSA 10, you're making a good killing, right, of, you know, three, 400 bucks, um, which is quite good. Um, a lot of these are off-centered, I will warn you guys, but you will occasionally find people who have a very good condition shack card that, you know, they are just selling for the price of a normal shack card that is raw and in bad condition. So if you guys do, you know, I would not hesitate. If you see a card that you think is a PSA 10 or you think is a PSA 9 or a very good condition, I would not hesitate to pay, you know, up to 50% more than what the normal raw card goes for. Yes, this seems a little bit underpriced for $49 for two, I mean overpriced. But if you think about it, you're going to have a lot higher of a chance at a PSA 10 if you're buying, you know, a sharp sharp cards like these guys are. I think these guys will grade at least a PSA 9. Um, I see they're a little bit off-centered, the right one especially. Um, but I say these would probably grade a PSA 9, 8 at least. I think the one on the left looks like a 9 or 10. Um, so just great... Um, I guess profits to be made on Shaq, KD, all these guys. Um, I definitely think if you guys go for this, if you even throw in $100, just buy two KDs and pay, you know, 20 bucks to go ahead and grade them, um, and you're $110 in, I think it's very hard to lose. You could get two PSA 8s and make money. You could get one PSA 9 and make a lot of money, right? So there's just a lot of ways to do that. And then in terms of grading, um, I recommend going for a bulk grader who goes ahead and sends in cards in bulk and grades for others. I personally use Clay Cards, um, at Clay Cards on Instagram. He's pretty good for grading. He'll go ahead, check the condition on the cards, and he sends in thousands of cards at once. So PSA favors him in terms of timing and just in terms of the grade um, because he's a valued customer. So when you send in cards with a valued customer, um, there, it's basically going to be a lot better of, I guess, results, honestly. From my experience, sending it in with him has been very nice. Um, and definitely a lot of just money to be made in grading at the moment. Um, I would not, you know, pass up on these opportunities. Um, there's definitely some that cross every day of, I can spot PSA 10s right off eBay, um, for 50, 60 bucks. And they're going for around 700. So there's just so much money to be made. To be made, um, go ahead 
and if you guys are interested in grading and all this stuff and you have extra questions you want to learn the game feel free to message me on instagram sports card invest and i'll be happy to i guess teach you guys some of the basics i've learned when starting off grading but other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. Once again, if interested in my membership program, go ahead, message me on Instagram, Sports Card Invest, or head to my website, sportscardsinvest.com. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace.